Welcome everyone to the University of St. Francis Hutzel Athletic Center for today's Crossroads League matchup between your number 19 ranked University of St. Francis Cougars who enter with an 18-8 overall record, 8-6 in the Crossroads League, tied for third place, hosting the Huntington University Foresters, 15-11 overall, 6-8 in Crossroads League play, currently in seventh place. And now we'll read from Sports Information Director Bill Scott's game day program. It says, home business is USF priority. Huntington University returns to the Hutzel Athletic Center for a rematch against number 19 ranked Cougars. This is it, the stretch run in the Crossroads League. There are just four regular season games left starting with tonight's clash between Huntington University and 19th ranked University of St. Francis at the Hut. USF is deadlocked with Taylor and Spring Arbor for third place in the Crossroads League. USF senior Kyle Sovine scored 21 points on his birthday Saturday, passed the 1,000 career points threshold, and led USF to an 80-72 Crossroads League win over Goshen. The Foresters stunned sixth-ranked Indiana Wesley at 93-90 on Saturday. The win avenged an earlier 86-64 loss at then number three Indiana Wesleyan on December the 3rd. Huntington is two and five against NEIA top 25 opponents. The other win coming on January the 10th against number, against then number three USF, 83-79. Huntington freshman Connor Platt scored the Foresters' final six points in the last 15 seconds of play to ice the win and snap the Foresters three game skid. USF has won 23 of its last 24 games at the hut. HU is one and six in Crossroads League road games and has dropped its last three, most recently an 84 to 74 loss at Grace on January the 31st. Mason Coverstone led Huntington with 18 points on eight for 11 shooting. Platt added 16 points. In the first meeting, Sovine and Bryce Linup led USF scoring with 18 points and both posted a double-double for the second consecutive game. Sovine finished with 14 rebounds and Linup 12. Huntington junior guard Mike Bush is number one in the NAIA in assists with 276 and assists per game at 10.6. He had 16 against Indiana Wesleyan on Saturday. In Crossroads League only games, Huntington is averaging 83.4 points per game, which is number three. USF is number four at 81.1 points per game. USF is number three in scoring defense at 75.4 points per game. And Huntington is number nine, yielding 84.1 points per game. We send it down to our PA announcer. Thank you. 
And welcome everybody back to the Hutzel Athletic Center. The starting lineups have been announced. You will see one of the finer guards in the Crossroads League, really in the country. And number 10, Mike Bush, who's a junior at 5'7", 150 from South Bend, Indiana. John Adams High School. He ranks number one in the country with 276 assists while averaging 10.6 assists per game. So that's a very high number. He also... Shoots at a high clip from beyond the arc at 39%. So that's Mike Bush. That's the team's leading scorer, averaging 16.3 points per game. Daniel Wool is the team's second leading scorer, scorer, averaging 16 points per game. Mike Bush leads the Crossroads League in double-doubles. He's got 16 on the season. In the center, that's number 45, Daniel Wool and Kyle Sovine for your Cougars. Kyle Sovine reached the 1,000 career point mark this past Saturday with 21 points in the win against Goshen. A great win for these Cougars. Sovine and Evan Henry leading the way. Left-handed hook shot by Sovine, it's no good. Loose balls tracked down by number three. That's Connor Platt. Connor's a freshman at six foot two, 180 from Huntington North High School. Platt with the ball, gets it over to number 20, Mason Coverstone, a sophomore forward at six foot six from Columbia City. Platt for three, drains the triple. And that will come as no surprise to the Huntington University fans as he's ranked number 16 in the country, hitting 47% of his triples. That's Connor Platt. He's hit 48 of 102 entering today's game. He averages 11.1 .1 points per game. Three-pointer left short by Comer. Bush bringing it up for the Foresters. Goes back to Tyler Ahrens, sophomore forward at six foot eight from Muncie Central. He's from Sweet Sir, Indiana. First time I've ever seen that city as Aaron's gets it to go. Huntington's up 5-0 on the Cougars to start this game. We're 120 in. Chandler White back to Connor Lotz and Heiser. Kagan Comer top of the key looking at the triple. White's going to take it. Back ribs no good. Rebounded by Aaron's. Bush. Over to Coverstone, who hits the three. Huntington's on fire to start this game. They're up 8-0 over your Cougars. St. Francis looking for win number three in a row. As last two games out, St. Francis beat Goshen at home and also won on the road at number 16, Taylor, 85-70. Blocking foul going to be called on Daniel Wool number 45, so that'll be his first and the team's first. Bryce Linup's going to check into the game for Connor Lotzenheiser. Linup, an All-American a year ago for Coach Lacrosse. Last couple games, he has not been starting, and Lotzenheiser's been starting in for him, but Linup quick to get into the game. Backs down the smaller defender, misses, gets his own rebound, and the putback is good for Bryce Linup. Bryce, who enters today's game with five double-doubles while averaging 11.9 points per game on the season. Wool down low, right-handed hook shot is left short, contested by Linup. 
So good defense there by number 23. The junior from Columbus, Indiana, Columbus East High School. That's Bryce Linup down on the block, kicks out. White loses control, picking up the loose ball with Sovine. Left-handed hook shot is good. Kyle Sovine virtually automatic there with that hook shot. As he gets his first bucket of the game, that pulls St. Francis to within four. Eight to four is your score. Three-pointer on its way, no good. Rebounded by Henry. So that was Aarons that took that three-pointer on the season. He's shooting 56% from beyond the arc as the bucket is good for your Cougars. Now down within two. Eight to six is your score. Bush trying to get around Sovine. Cannot. Goes top of the key. Wolf for three. Looks like everybody for Huntington's team will shoot the triple. That was Coverstone with the board. Coverstone. They're going to call a touch foul on Kagan Comer. Perry Poindexter set the check in for Sovine. So Sovine, Kagan Comer, and Bryce Linup each with buckets here for St. Francis in the first three minutes and 30 seconds as Wool's going to get fouled and will head to the free throw line. Wolves, the team's second leading scorer, averaging 16 points per game. He shoots 85% from the charity stripe, which ranks him number 34 in the country. He's knocked down 93 of 110. First one's good. Huntington University, both teams with 26 games under their belt. Huntington 15-11 overall. St. Francis at 18 and 8. White leaves that one just a bit short. Bush for Huntington. Bush driving top of the key. Kicks out. Platt out of the corner. No good. Getting the rebound is Perry Poindexter. Good job of fighting after that ball by Poindexter. Reverse land. No good. But Perry's there with the put back. Put back. So Perry gets his own put back and gets his first two points in the game. That pulls St. Francis to within two. 10 to eight is your score. Your Cougars shooting 40% from the field on four of nine shooting. Just under 40%, I should say. Coverstone kicks out. Platt once again out of the corner for three. That one's no good. He's now one of three from three-point land. Made his first of the game. Henry's pass intended for point X was stolen by Wool. The thievery. The senior, that's six foot seven, 200 pounds from Columbia City, Indiana. Wool trying to lull the defenders to sleep, coughs it up, picking up the loose balls. Kagan Comer has Lynn up behind him, goes to Henry for three. Kagan dials it up just short for Kagan Comer. Chandler White, Lynn up. Perry underneath, beautiful. As Perry pops out from the block and gets it off the glass. Perry Poindexter making the most out of his minutes so far. He now has four points in this game, two of three from the field. Platt, Wool, Bush. A nice defense by Perry with the quick hands. Possession will stay with Huntington as we have a media timeout here at 14:43. The exclusive sports medicine provider for the Cougars is ParkViewSportsMedicine.com. How do you design one of the most advanced DRs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room. It's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. How do you design one of the most advanced ERs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room. It's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health.
at the Hutzel Athletic Center. We're tied at 10 apiece. St. Francis being led by Perry Poindexter with four points and three rebounds. St. Francis shooting five of 13 from the field. We have 10 seconds on the shot clock. Bush being guarded by Evan Henry. Lotzenheiser and Austin Compton into the game for St. Francis. Good ball movement to the open player. That was number 11, Devin Murder. No good. He's from Santa Claus, Indiana. The same town as Jay Cutler. Wonder where Jay Cutler will be next year. Some people are saying with uh, San Francisco, that would make a lot of sense. Three-pointers no good by Evan Henry. Rebounded by Murder. Bush. St. Francis found itself down early in this one. Now tied up at 10. Perry Poindexter is going to be called with the foul. Got a little bit of Daniel Wool, kind of poked him in the face. Sovine's going to check back in for Poindexter. Perry was fantastic there in short minutes played. Two of three from the field with three rebounds and four points. So Perry can certainly fill it up pretty quick, folks. On the season, Perry's averaging 7.7 points per game and five rebounds a game. Down on the block, no traveling called on number 32, Trevor Lockwood, junior center, 6'8", 230 from McCutcheon High School. Lit up. Bryce being guarded by number 32, Lockwood. Kicks out Lotzenheiser for three, knocks it down. Connor Lotzenheiser on the season, a 34% three-point shooter, 12 of 35 entering today's game. Make that 13 of 36 as Evan Henry just rips it away from Bush in transition. Lotzenheiser expecting the contact there, braced himself for it, was still able to get the lay-in to go. Connor now with five points in this game. He's the game's leading scorer just like that. Lockwood off glass. So Huntington pulls back to within one, 15 to 14 is your score. Lotzenheiser did a good job there, body control there as he was expecting to embrace that contact and it just never came. Foul's gonna be called on Bryce Linup over the back on Lockwood. Steven Turner's gonna check into the game for Linup. Inbounds pass goes to Bush. Mike Bush has yet to take a shot from the field. He does have three assists in this game. Huntington's got five assists to St. Francis, three. Handoff goes back to Bush. Murder's got the ball in the near wing. Wool, left-handed scoop shot is good. That gives Huntington back the lead, 16 to five. Compton's gonna slow it up here for a second. For Wool, that's his fourth point of the game. He's now one of three from the field and two of two from the free throw line. Henry has Lotzenheiser. Lotzenheiser being guarded by 35, Kyle Platt. Turner shots no good, contested by Lockwood as we have a jump ball. Possession arrow is in favor of Huntington St. Huntington. I'm not sure what the possession arrow says. We don't have it on the scoreboard. I'm going to petition to get one of those possession arrows that you can see from both ends of the court. As most, most possession arrows you can see from both sides. Ours is in a big brown box. But possession arrows in favor of Huntington. Bush over the timeline. Compton with the defense, help defense by Sovine as Lockwood dropped down to the block. Pass is stolen. Lotzenheiser comes out with it. Good defense here by the Cougars. Nice hesitation dribble. Lotzenheiser with the circus shot behind his back. Outstanding shot there by number 11. Connor Lotzenheiser is a game high. Seven points now. That was a very athletic and strong move there by Lotzenheiser as Lockwood finishes on the other end to give Huntington back the lead. 18-17. Connor switches to the right hand. Once again, goes up strong and hits the floater. Drew body contact, outstanding by Lotzenheiser, who now has nine points, his team up 19-18. to 
push down low. Lockwood left all alone. A little miscommunication there between Sovine and Turner. And Chandler White set to check back into this game. We'll see if he checks in for Stephen Turner. Kagan being guarded by Murder. Compton goes down. Lockwood with the defense. Sovine's got one inch in height at six foot nine on Lockwood. Nice little shot there by Compton. Cannot hit. He was able to square up to the hoop just to not fall for him on the floater. Bush. Fouls called on number 11, Lotzenheiser. Connor currently 4 of 4 from the field, 1 of 1 from beyond the arc with one rebound and a game high 9 points. Lockwood's got 8 for Huntington, just 1 point behind. First free throw is up and in for the big man, Tyler Ahrens. Coverstone's back in, so too is Connor Platt along with Daniel Wool. A-team's in for Huntington. Second one is good. Huntington increases its lead to three, 22 to 19. Forrester is currently shooting 57% from the field on eight of 14 shooting. St. Francis up to 45% on nine of 20. Lit up down low. Nice find by Chandler White. For Mr. Linup, that is his fourth point. He's now 2 of 4 from the field. That pulls St. Francis to within one with 10 minutes and 11 seconds left to play. 22 to 11 is your score. Push with the left hand, kicks out. Coverstone, nice defense. Both, first one by Kagan, then by Chandler White to steal it away as we got a charging foul going to be called on Chandler White. But back on the defensive end, that was Kagan Comer who got a hand on it to kind of stall the dribble drive. White took advantage and just popped in and stole the ball away from the Forrester guard. Outstanding work. 22 to 21 is your score. Bush picked up by Compton. Compton stops on a dime and hits the jumper. Compton gives the uh, St. Francis bench a little stink eye. Not sure if they've been jawing at him. Turner left all alone underneath. Beautiful find by Austin Compton. Steven Turner gets the deuce. Linup. Nice steal by Connor White. The Cougars are doing it defensively in this game. Eurostep. Fouls called on number 20 with the slap on the arm. That's Mason Coverstone. That'll be his first, the team's second. St. Francis currently with six fouls. Chandler White to head to the free throw line. The team's second leading scorer, averaging 14.3 points per game. He shoots 71% from the free throw line, hitting 70 of 98. That's Chandler White, the sophomore transfer from Toledo. University where he was a rocket. Excuse me, the University of Toledo. U of T. Evan Henry checks back in for Compton. Coach Cummings, Coach Kenny with some words for Compton. Second free throw attempt is good. So that'll break the tie. St. Francis goes back up 25-24. Platt goes around the world. It was one on three, and he's fouled. We'll head to the free throw line. Fouls called on number 22, Stephen Turner, his first, team second, or excuse me, team seventh. Platt's first trip to the charity stripe. On the season, an 83% free throw shooter. Murders back in for Huntington. Checking in for Bush. Second one's good as well. Well, 
should say is good to tie this game up. Over the timeline, Comer. Live pass goes down to Linup. Whoa, what a beautiful pass and finish by Bryce Linup. Linup in the air. I thought he'd come down with it first and now nah, he's going to toss it in. For Bryce, that is his sixth point of the game. St. Francis up 27-25. That ball was tapped. So Murder can go back to get it. Traveling called on Wool. Another turnover. That's turnover number six by Huntington. Only two for St. Francis. St. Francis with five steals. Huntington only with one. That is the difference in this game. Cougars forcing turnovers and grabbing steals. Folks, I do apologize. I've been dealing with a cold lately as Linup finishes with the reverse lay-in. Timeout called by Coach Platt and the Huntington University Foresters. Coach Platt, not too happy. Uh, we're going to, that's a 30-second timeout. We're going to take a listen here to the Cougar Marching Cry. Eight eleven left to play here in the first half. Murder driving from the wing, kicks back out. Platt, top of the key. One of three from beyond the arc in this game. Wool squares up to the bucket. Nice quick spin move there by Daniel Wool. That pulls Huntington back to within two. 27-29. Wool now with six points. Uh, the uh, timeout clock still ticking down. Not sure what happened there. They're going to let it tick down from 38. Never a dull moment here from the hut, as we're going to hear from Parkview Sports Medicine. How do you design one of the most advanced DRs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room. It's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. It's an official's time out here on the floor. 7.44, back up on the game clock.
Back to the action here at the hut with 7.44 left to play in the first half. St. Francis up 29 to 27. Chandler White switches to the left off glass. Beautiful move to extend St. Francis' lead, 31 to 27. White now with four points in this game. He's one of three from the field with uh, two free throw makes. Wool off glass, good. Wool's a banker these days, getting it done. He's got eight points. Lin up, being guarded by Wool. Kicks out White, being guarded by Platt. That's the freshman Platt, number three, Connor. Bryce down low, and that's gonna be tipped out by Wool. 30 seconds on the shot clock. St. Francis to maintain possession. Evan out of the corner, being guarded by Bush. Seems like Huntington's at their best. And that's an uncharacteristic turnover for St. Francis in this game. Turnover number three. Huntington's got six right now. Bush. Spin move, fade away, no good by Wool. A little out of control in that last shot. Not sure if Coach Platt likes the selection. Three-pointers up and in for Kagan Comer. That extends St. Francis' lead to 5, 34 to 29. Your Cougs. Kagan really feeling it today. He's two of four from the field with five points. Aarons. Being guarded by Turner. Going to be hard to back down Steven Turner. And they're going to call a jump ball or travel, I do believe, there on number 44, Tyler Aarons. Chandler White checks out. Connor Lotzenheiser back in for your Cougs. Six oh six and counting in the first half. Five point lead, the largest of the game for St. Francis. Huntington's lead was as big as eight points there early on. Six points. Huntington was up 8-0 to start this game. So it was an eight point ad. Lots and Heiser. Connor's perfect 4 4 from the field in this game. Right handed hook shot, no good by Sovine. Lockwood with the board. Bush, no look pass, finds Wool. Beautiful feed by Mike Bush as he sold into the corner, the near side corner here, and passed into the lane. Henry being guarded by Bush. Linup kicks back out. Henry triple. Off the heel, no good. Rebounded by Lockwood. Lockwood's a good player here in the Crossroads League. A big frame, too. Down on the block for the Foresters. Bush, baseline jumper by Wool, left short. It's obvious that Daniel Wool has the green light to shoot whatever he wants. Not that that was a bad shot. Henry. Wool, a senior for these Foresters. As Lotzenheiser drains his second triple of the game. He now has a game high 12 points. That extends St. Francis' lead to 6, 37, 31. Cougars' largest lead of the game. Bush. St. Francis fans calling for three seconds there on the big man, Lockwood. They're saying that was knocked out by Linup. Steven Turner's gonna check in for Bryce. Number 21, Austin Grazia checks in for Huntington for Wool. Bush, right hand dribble drive is fouled, so will not finish. 
Fouls we call on number five, Evan Henry. Do you like the uh, Huntington uniforms? Probably my only critique is that you could probably uh, make the hatchets on the side either a little bigger or more distinguishable because those are pretty cool. Probably a little bigger. But uh, some of the better unis in the Crossroads League are these away Huntington Forester uniforms. Probably would go with Foresters instead of Huntington across the top too with the hatchets. 37-33 is your score. Kagan, loose ball picked up by Turner. Lotzenheiser. Turner down on the block, spin move. And he's going to be fouled by Gracia. Steven heading to the free throw line. Turner on the season, a 56% free throw shooter, hitting five of nine, hits the first. For Steven, that is his third point of the game. He's one of two from the field. St. Francis up 38-33. Second one's no good, rebounded by Lockwood. Bush up the near sideline. And I'll tell you what. Huntington, you know, leading the world in assists. They don't necessarily lead the world. They're ranked number 22 in the country in assists. They sure do turn the ball over a lot. Or maybe that's just the Cougar defense. Bush's putback's no good. It's the Cougar defense. We know our guards have been playing tight, tight defense all year long, getting better and better every single year. Three forty left to play in the first half. Thirty-eight to thirty-three is your score. Left-handed take by Lotzenheiser goes up to Compton. Compton with a left-hand dribble drive kicks out. And we got a foul off the ball. Going to be called on number 22, Steven Turner. As he was battling, I believe that was covers or a Lockwood battling for position. 3.28 left to play. 38 to 33 is your score. Basketball player Lindley Kissler in attendance. She's a freshman at IPFW, played at Homestead last year. Also a track star at Homestead a year ago. Part of that phenomenal girls basketball program coached by Rod Parker at Homestead. Turner off glass, gets it to fall. 40 to 33 is the score with three minutes left to play. Steven Turner picks up his fifth point of the game. Bush. Austin Compton just so quick to get around those screens. Three-pointer is up and in. For number 20, Mason Coverstone. It's been a long time coming for those threes. Huntington's now three of eight from beyond the arc. Lotzenheiser. Nice rebound by Austin Compton. Great job of moving off ball by Compton. Putting himself in position for that rebound. Fouls called on number 21. Austin Crazia. Bryce Linham's going to check back in for St. Francis. 224 left in this first half. A four point ad for the Cougars as Sovine checks out. Lots and Heiser. Connor, who's two of three from beyond the arc now. He's five of six from the field after that last miss from three-point land. Coverstone trying to uh, attempt him. the steal. is going to be called with a foul. Big man, number 32. Mm -hmm. 
So Huntington, Comer pulls up. That's an 18-footer, no good. Rebounded by Lockwood. Bush trying to, nice feed to Coverstone. Kicks out to Platt for three, and it's good. Connor Platt now 2 of 4 from three-point land with seven points in this game. Spin move, went up. His shot blocked, and foul going to be called on Lockwood. Lockwood now with two fouls in this game. He's a perfect 4 of 4 from the field, eight points. Linup now at the free throw line. First one is up and in for Bryce. Linup on the season, a 64% free throw shooter, hitting 74 of 116. Kagan Comer checks out. Evan Henry back in. Second one is good for Linup as well. Bryce now in double digit scoring with 10 points to go with his two boards. Platt coming off a triple make. Linup. Linup was muscling up Wool. Wool with that extra spin move there. Drew the foul. And the shot is good. Sovine checks in for Bryce. Not really sure what's up with the scoreboard because the player fouls aren't showing up either. As that one pops out. One point add for your Cougars up 42 to 41. Compton. Sovine working against Aarons. Sovine finishes on the block. Kyle now with four points in this one. 47 seconds left to play. Aarons, three ball, left short. And that was Mason Coverstone who tipped it right to Evan Henry. Heads up play there by Evan, keeping that ball alive for the Cougs. As we got a timeout, going to be called by Coach Chad LaCrosse. 33.3 seconds on the game clock. This is a 30 second timeout, 24 seconds on the shot clock. As we hear from the Cougar Marching Pride. St. Francis shooting 53% from the field, 8 of 34 shooting. Huntington University at 60%, 15 to 25 shooting. It's always amazing to me with these Crossroads League games. Every time we're playing a Crossroads League team, they're ranked in the top 20 in field goal percentage. St. Francis ranks number 10, hitting 50% of its shots from the field, where Huntington ranks number 4, hitting 51% of its shot. 51-4 to be exact, and 54, well, .504, as that pass intended for Turner is knocked away. 11 seconds left, Bush walled off there by Lotzenheiser. Another turnover by Bush. That's one thing I was not expecting was all these turnovers by Huntington. That's their ninth turnover of the game. White checks in for Turner. Small lineup here for St. Francis. Comer pulls up, 
Three-pointer off the heel, no good. And that will do it for the first half, folks. St. Francis up 44 to 41. We're gonna take a break and be back with you for the second half.
Welcome back, everyone. We're just two minutes away from the start of the second half. Both teams shooting outstanding from the field during the first half. 51% for St. Francis, 18 of 35 shooting. Huntington, 15 of 20, 25, 60%. Huntington, 4 of 10 from beyond the arc. St. Francis, 3 of 10. Cougars holding the edge and rebounding 15 to 13. Largest lead of the game for Huntington was 8 points. And that was at 18-22 to play in the first half. Largest lead for St. Francis was 7 points, and that was at 3.04 left to play. Score was tied three times, and there were seven lead changes. St. Francis was led by Connor Lotzenheiser at 12 points. Bryce Linup had 10. Perry Poindexter's three rebounds are a high for St. Francis. Daniel Wool had 12 points for Huntington. Right behind him was Trevor Lockwood with eight points. He was 4-4 from the field, four rebounds. Lockwood just with eight minutes played there in the first half, played very, very well. Connor Platt with seven, seven points. Mason Coverstone with six. Tyler Aarons with four for Huntington. Mike Bush had four. He also had seven assists. He also had five turnovers. Kyle Sovon had four points for the Cougars. Comer had five. White had four. Poindexter, four. Turner, five. Once again, lit up in lots and highs there. 10 and 12, respectfully. As so we start the second half of play, Cougars looking to build off their two game momentum here a win at Taylor and then a win here at the hut against Goshen this past Saturday. This would be three wins in a row. Comer, Henry out of the corner. Bush has got the defense. Evan rises up and drains it. Bush right in his face and Henry knocked it down. Evan Henry now one up three from beyond the arc with three points. Evan had an outstanding game against Goshen. The team's leading score with Kyle Sovine. Evans scored 20, Sovine had 21 against Goshen. So foul called on the Cougs. Wool out of the corner. Sovine with the defense. Fadeaway jumper by Wool is good. Daniel Wool is now 6 of 10 from the field with 14 points. Henry working off the pick set by Linup as Bush falls to the ground. And they're going to call a foul on Bryce Linup with the block. So Bush over the timeline. His team down by four, 47 to 43. Rebounded by Sovine. Chandler White, lit up, coughs it up. Bush racing on the other end, has Platt to his left. Gives it up to Aaron's three-pointer left short. Lit up now up to White, one-on-one -on -one with Wool, and Chandler lowers the shoulder. You just can't do that. That's the second charge of the game for Chandler White. Anytime you lower your shoulder like a running back, they're gonna call you. Even though last Saturday I saw a guard lower her shoulder and it was not called. Four point ad for St. Francis, 18-27. Bush, fee goes down to Wool. Mason Coverstone here in the near corner. Turn around, Wool's no good, rebounded by Lina. Kagan, Bryce top of the key, Kagan near wing. Pick set by Bryce as they go down to Sovine. 
Cannot finish through contact, rebounded by Aarons. Bush quickly gets over the timeline. Looking at the triple was Mason Coverstone. Bush stops on a dime, hits a 10 footer. For Mike Bush, he's now two of three from the field and two of two from the free throw line with six points to go with his seven assists. Remember, did have five turnovers in the first half. Steven Turner, Perry Poindex are gonna check in for Sovine and Linna. Huntington had nine turnovers in the first half. St. Francis with five. St. Francis with six steals. Huntington with two. Basically the difference maker in this game. A pass intended for Poindexter is a turnover. Seventeen thirty-five left here in the second half. Your Cougs up by two, 47-45. Huntington, in my mind, are the most is the most surprising team in the Crossroads League. I think Coach Plaz has done an outstanding job with this team, given the fact that Derek Heinen, who's their star point guard, transferred to St. Francis in the sitting out this year. Wool takes the inbounds pass. There's 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Wool at the elbow. Back to Bush. Bush goes opposite way of the pick. Left hand dribble drive walled off by Steven Turner. Aaron's back up to Wool. Six seconds on the shot clock. Wool with the triple, and it's good. Wow. Daniel Wool now one of two from three point land on the season. Wool a 32% three point shooter as Perry Poindexter slams it home. Perry now has six points in this game. His team back up by two, 49 to 47. Bush to Wool. And a foul going to be called. Is that going to go on Kagan with the push in the back? Yes, it is. Goes on Kagan Comer. Kagan with two fouls now. Lockwood's going to check in for Aarons. What a first half Lockwood had. In my mind, he was the player of the game for Huntington in the first half. The big man Lockwood, Bush, top of the key, three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Turner. Good job of boxing out there by Steven Turner. Cougar fans wanted to over the back on Lockwood. Kagan over to Henry for three. Evan had Bush all over him, still able to get that shot off. Nearly went down. Wool. His pass intended for Lockwood is a turnover. Chandler pushing it on the other end, finishes with the right hand. Reverse lay in, Chandler was looking for the foul, so too was coached across on the transition bucket there by Chandler White. For Chandler, his sixth point of the game, he's two of four from the field. Platt, down to Wool. Nice spin move. No good with the right-handed hook shot. Coach Ty Platt, once again, just not happy. Kagan, no good as, ooh, Wool hit his elbow on the court. Boy, you could hear that all the way up here in the Crows next. Hope he's okay. He looks to be okay. That's a beautiful feed there to Connor Platt. For Connor, he's now two of five from the field with nine points. And Huntington's gonna have to call a timeout here. As Aaron's gonna check in for Wool.
back here at the hut. For St. Francis, we'll be on the road this Saturday against number nine, Indiana Wesleyan, 3 p.m. tip-off in what will prove to be a huge game. Looking at the Crossroads League standings, Bethel's currently in first place with a 13-1 conference record. We'll host Bethel the final game of the season, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. Right-handed drive, Chandler White, beautiful. As Connor Platt just does not have an answer for number 10, Chandler White. Chandler's eighth point of the game. Cougs up 53-49, to four-point advantage. Possession going to St. Francis. Coughing the ball up was Mason Coverstone. Devin Murder is going to check into the game for Connor Platt. Haven't seen much of the junior, Kyle Platt, six foot seven, 190 pounder. Point Dexter called with the travel. For St. Francis, the ninth turnover of the game. Cougars getting closer to Huntington's total of 11. Bush, Mason Coverstone deep behind the three-point line. No good. Lockwood put back. No good. Tip out by Henry and chased down by Evan. Nice hustle play by Evan Henry. That was outstanding. Ev or that was Kagan who got blocked at the cup. Foul going to be called on Aaron's number 44. The over the back. For Aaron's, that'll be his third, the team's second. Turner at the free throw line where he's one of two in this game. He does have two boards and five points. First one's no good. Once again on the season, Turner, a 56% free throw shooter. Perry Poindexter's going to check out. Lin up back in. Cougars extend their lead, 55 or 54 to 49. Bush not doing a whole lot of scoring in this game, just two of four from the field with six points. Murder, he coughs it up and then fouls Evan. Murder just out of control there. That'll be a team's third and his first. Connor Platt checks in for Mason Coverstone. Kagan over the timeline. Chandler comes up from the baseline, being guarded by Murder. Lin up. Lockwood's got the D on Bryce. Man-to-man -man defense. Bryce through the contact, finishes, and will head to the free throw line looking for the and one. Bryce just too strong and too savvy down there on the block. He is now five of eight from the field, two of two from the free throw line with 12 points. Aarons checks out, Wolves back in. First free throw attempt for Linup is up and in. Bryce converts the three point play. He's now three of three from the field, or excuse me, from the free throw line in this game. Bush pops out, right hand off glass. Huntington down 57 51, 13 23 remaining in this game. White. Turner's 17 foot jumper is good by Steven Turner beautiful looking shot we have seen Steven hit the three ball as well even though he's only taken four three point shots on the season another turnover there by Bush he was looking for the foul ref said the defender was straight up Turner with the take he's blocked by Lockwood on the block Steven tips it over to Chandler White good hustle play 
Watch jumpers no good. And we're going to stay here as off the ball foul going to be called on Lockwood. For Lockwood, that'll be his fourth. So Lockwood, his fourth. He comes out of the game. Back in is Aarons. 59-51 is your score. Bryce down low, switches to the right. Finishes right over Aarons. Lin up now with 15 points. One point behind Wool for a game high. Bush. He is fouled. The bucket's good. Foul going to be called on number 22, Stephen Turner. <laughs> so Vine checks in for Turner. Round of applause here for Steven Turner. So Bush converts the three point play. It's a perfect three of three from the free throw line now. Bush picking up the scoring as of late. He did have four points in the first half, currently sitting with 10. With 12 17 left to play. Pass right through the hands of Sovine. Bush one on two, doesn't have numbers, but pulls up with the jumper. Back rim's no good, rebounded by Sovine. Comer over the timeline. Picked up by Mason Coverstone. Man to man D here for Huntington. Latzenheiser gets the feed back from Sovine. Bryce, strong tape, reverse lay-in is good for Lina. Bryce putting on a show here, now with 17 points to go with his four boards. Cougars now up by nine, 63 to 54. St. Francis starting to pull away. Aaron's with a spin move. Left-handed hook shot is good. Huntington coach Ty Platt with the timeout. It's a 30-second timeout called by Coach Platt. Folks, the exclusive sports medicine provider of the Cougars is Parkview Sports Medicine. Check them out at parkviewsportsmedicine.com. How do you design one of the most advanced ERs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room. It's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. Eleven twenty-five left in this game. After that Lockwood spin around hook shot, Cougars now only up by seven, sixty-three to fifty-six. After they had their largest lead of the game at nine points just moments ago, Lotzenheiser's triple off the mark. Wool with the board. Ty Platt clapping for his team, trying to get them energized here. Bush, Wool wide open for three. That one halfway down, no good. Tip out, tracked down by Henry. Kagan. Lots and highs there to lin up. Bryce with the crossover. Evan back down to Bryce. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Bryce, strong take with the left hand. Coach across in these man to man defense. Loves to go to his bigs. Coach believes his bigs are the best in the crossroads league. I concur. Huntington sticking with the man-to-man -man defense. Bryce Lynn up taking advantage. He now has a game high, 19 points. 
Bush to Platt. It's Connor Platt. Kyle Platt has seen limited minutes played only in the first half. Nice dribble by Bush, but cannot hit the 15-footer. Comer over the timeline. Kagan with the giddy up, retreats. Sovine all the way out in the perimeter. Kyle on the season has hit 15 three-pointers. He's 15 of 46 as Kagan Comer splashes it from downtown. Kagan now two of six from three-point land with eight points. Coach Platt is going to have to call a one-minute timeout. We'll keep it here. Get a chance to check out the Cougar cheerleaders. Their coach is Jeremy Elder. Last year, the cheerleaders finished 12 out of, or I'm sorry, finished fifth out of 12 teams at the competitive cheer and dance competition in Davenport, Iowa. Their first year of competing and taking fifth place is absolutely outstanding. The Cougars are three of three so far in competitive meets. They've taken first place in all three. Most recent over at the Halo Classic at Siena Heights. So our hats go, hat goes off to Coach Jeremy Elder and the Cougar cheerleaders. The transformation of that program under Coach Elder's leadership. It's like Jim Harbaugh taking over Michigan and the 49ers, just instant winners. Of course, Coach Elder was a competitive gymnast at Purdue University and at Bishop Dwanger High School here in Fort Wayne. 9.30 left to play in the second half. Cougs up by 12, their largest lead of the game. Their high in the first half was seven. Of course, Huntington started off this game up 8-0. Wool having a hard time backing down Perry. Fadeaway jumper's no good, rebounded by Comer. Perry, his right-handed hook shot. Back rim is no good. Rebounded by Aarons. In transition, Platt was walled off. Mason Coverstone, we got a foul going to be called on number 21. Perry Poindexter. For Perry, that's his third. Team foul number six. First one's up and in. Second's good as well for Coverstone. Mason entering today a 64% free throw shooter. Coverstone now with eight points. Two of three from the field, two of two from the free throw line. Henry, triple try is good. Evan knocks it down. Now two of five from beyond the arc with six points. Cougars up. 71 to 58. See if we can extend this lead to 20 points. Aaron's right-handed hook shot no good. Rebounded by Poindexter. Perry does a good job of filling up the stat sheet when he gets into a game. Lotzenheiser. Comer goes to Bryce. Elbow jumper by Kagan. No good. Rebounded by Wool. Coverstone. Oh, good D there by Bryce as Aarons was expecting contact. Refs say that was tip. Cougar fans not liking it. Bush. Platt pulls up, 17 footer is no good. Foul caught on Aaron's, side of control. Seven forty-three left to play in the second half. St. Francis up 
Taking over the timeline. Mason with the defense. Kagan goes back to Bryce. Good weave there by Henry Kagan. Knocks it down. Now three of seven from three-point land with 11 points. Cougar is only four points away from a 20-point lead as Lockwood knocks it down. They get six points away. Lots and Heiser. Bryce took the contact there. No foul was called. It totally altered his progression to the cup. He and Lockwood battling after it. They're gonna call it out on Bryce. 74 to 60. Bush crossover. Murder, floater, no good. Kagan going the other direction. Perry Poindexter, Lockwood with the defense. Perry with the right hand. This law on the street. To sleep, excuse me. Lockwood, I think, was expecting him to pass it over to his right. Perry just went straight to the cup, over to his left. Bush, blocked from behind, foul gonna be called on Kagan, I believe. Foul's called on Perry Poindexter, actually. So they got a timeout, a full timeout. Called by Coach Lacrosse and the Cougars. How do you design one of the most advanced ERs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room, it's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. Back at the hut, 76 to 60 is your score. 16 point advantage for the Cougars. St. Francis once down in this game, 8-0. Some real nice shooting by Huntington to start this game. Connor Platt started with the triple. Bush was perfect from the free throw line, three of three, make it four of five. Bush now with 12 points in this game. Rejected from behind by Lockwood. Three point attempt, knocked down by Bush. He's now one of two from beyond the arc. Pulls his team to within 12 points. Perry, and big flop on the floor there by Wool. He's not happy with the no call. For point Dexter, his 10th point of the game. Cougars now with four players in double digit scoring with Kagan. Lotzenheiser, Perry, and Lidup. Murder knocks down the triple. 
That'll pull his team to within 11, 78-67. Huntington heating up from beyond the arc. Is that one halfway down would not fall. Bush working off the pick set by Wool. Nice hands by Poindexter all the way out in the perimeter. Bush walled off by Henry. Foul is going to be called on. Number 10, Chandler White. Bush, once again at the free throw line, hits the front end. Bush knocks him down, pull his team to within 10, 78 to 68. Went up. Still in this man to man as Bush sinks off to help. That leaves Evan wide open for the triple. Evan now three of six from three point land with nine points and four rebounds. Huntington's getting hot from beyond the arc, but St. Francis won't stop making them. Shot misses wide left. Just a bit outside. Pick set by Linup. Bryce. His pass tipped over to White. That was interesting route to get into Chandler. Chandler tips it out to Evan for three. Ooh, that would have been a sweet play. Track down in the corner by number 35. That's Platt. Kyle Platt, who averages 13 minutes played per game. Reverse lay-ins good by Lockwood. 81-70 is your score. White. 11 point ad with 2.53 counting. Turner was left open, just could not hang on to the ball. Baseline jumper by Linup is off the heel. Rebounded by Platt. Platt, a little boost of energy here for the Foresters. As Bush lobs it down for Lockwood, stolen by Chandler White. Great defense there by White. Now in transition, he's fouled. We'll head to the free throw line looking to shoot two. Chandler in this game is a perfect two of two from the charity stripe. Chan was a perfect two of two in this game. I knew I shouldn't have said that. They get two of three. Chandler does have eight points with five assists and one rebound. Three of six from the field, zero of one from three point land. Second one rims in. That'll extend the lead to 12 points for St. Francis with 2.30 left to play. Top of the key, three-pointer by Wool. Rims out, rebounded by Kagan. Folks, Spring Arbor losing to Bethel, 75-66. to Bethel sure is a strong team. This was their year, too, with all those seniors led by Clay Yo. Taylor's beating Indiana Wesleyan, 42-33. to Wow. Left-hand shot off glass by Comer, no good.
Right handed dribble. Fouls called on Chandler White. No, oh, excuse me, Mike Bush, number 10. First free throw attempt is up and in. Lockwood checks out of this game. He's got 12 points, six of seven shooting from the field and seven boards. Kyle Platt checks back in. Kagan now with 12 points in this game. 84 to 70. Bush, circus shot, no good. Cougars about to secure its third consecutive W on the season. This is a team that's trending up here in the NAIA and Crossroads League. Kagan walled off by Coverstone. One oh one left in this game. Four seconds on the shot clock. Turner. 18 footers, no good. Nice tip out by Lotzenheiser. Cougars out hustling these Foresters today. Huntington's 15 turnovers, just too much. St. Francis with 11 steals and only 10 turnovers. Huntington had just four steals and 15 turnovers. Basically, your two stats of the game right there. Lotzenheiser, long triple. Rims in. Lotzenheiser now with the game with 15 points. He's now three of five shooting from beyond the arc. Folks, once again, I do apologize. We're not going to have post-game interviews as I'm nursing this cold and just really don't want to get anybody sick. But the Cougars will improve its record to 19 and eight overall, nine and six in the Crossroads League. Huntington will fall to 15 and 12 overall. Six and nine in the Crossroads League. Bryce Linup led the way with 19 points and seven rebounds for St. Francis. Mike Bush had 16 points, Lockwood seven rebounds. Bush also finished with nine assists for Huntington. Cougars win it, 87 to 72. Folks, thanks so much for joining us. And the Cougars will be on the road for the next two games. You can check us out live. February the 18th when we host number three Bethel, 3 p.m. tip-off here at the Hut. Once again, thanks for joining us. My name is Jeff Mahoney. On the camera was Ian Johnson. Have a great week.